fellow Diamond Painting Addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne, and I'm here today to kit up my SpongeBob from Diamond Art Club. Um, this is a kit that I got a while ago as a gift for my nephew. Uh, if you haven't seen the unboxing, I will stick a link up there so you can check it out. Uh, he is a huge SpongeBob fan, and a, a fan in that he could tell me I could name an episode and he could tell me the name of the episode, who was in it, what happened, et cetera, et cetera. So when these came out, I just thought, oh, this would be a really good gift for him. So he saw it. He's excited. Uh, now I got to get busy. So uh, I decided I would go ahead and get this one kitted up. I don't know exactly how quickly I'm going to get it done. As you guys know, I have other projects that I'm working on, but um, I'll do my best. So I think I have everything ready to go. I have cut apart all of the drills and separated them into DMC order. Um, I've got my ready-made stickers here to go. There's only 19 colors, so it should be a fairly quick kit up, but we'll see how it goes. So the first thing I'm going to do is kit up the ones that I have the most of, and that is this color here, 797. So I'm going to try and see how many of these it takes because I don't have very many extras of these large size and um, the extras that I do have are currently in my um, Firefly Fireworks one. So yeah, not quite sure how this is going to go. I may end up with lots of these medium ones getting filled in because that's what I have available. So We'll see how it goes. Um, I've got extra stickers pulled out so that I can um, mark them if that's what I need to do. And I'm just gonna get started. If memory serves, I think I can get two, two large bags in one of these. So I was hoping I could do all of the colors. Well, maybe I'm gonna get three bags. Hmm, we'll see. I was hoping I could get most of the colors in these large containers. The, the three colors that are very big that I have lots of, but we'll see. So maybe if I have one large one and then one slightly larger one, and I forgot to put the um, sticker on this first, but that's okay. Okay, let me get these out of the way. So I've got two baggies left. I know this is almost completely full. I'm not going to fit these two baggies in here. Let me find 797 so I can mark this one. And then I am going to fill up one of these with the rest of them. And I'm going to make myself another sticker that says 797 so that I know what color it is and I don't get confused. <laughs> This is a square kit, so I'm using my square stickers. So 797 goes right there. And hopefully I can fit both of these in here. I think I'm going to be able to do that. I think, I think, I think, oh, not quite. Me. Maybe I can fit some in that other container as well, some extra ones. I think that's about as full as that one's going to get, but I have a little bit of room in this one. So let me see if I can get the rest of them in there. Okay. Phew. All right. Okay. So I think that's the one that I have the most of. That's the color that I have the most of. I have four bags of pink, four bags of yellow, four bags of purple. So I'm going to do the same thing. I had five bags of that one, so shouldn't have any problems doing this one. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do yellow next. So let me find the sticker for that. This is 973. And I'm going to be adding in some, um, ABs with this. I purchased some extra ABs. So I have um, not only some of the ABs that came with the kit, but I also purchased some additional ones. 
not exactly the same color, so we'll see how that works out. If I can substitute, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Substitute, you know, just kind of sporadically or do like a whole section, like maybe if I substitute just the inside of that star or something, I can make it a little, I can make it work even though the um, dye lots are not exactly the same. And that's the uh, risk you run when you're trying to add in ABs is that what you get may not be exactly the same dye lot. Even within companies, they may not be exactly the same, especially if they're produced at two different times. Ooh, I thought I saw a black stowaway in there. All right, so there's three bags put in this large container. So now I'm going to, I only need one bag, and let's see, I think I'm going to use this small one because it fits in there a little bit better. So I need 973. So I'm going to put this one in here. And then I will put the ABs that are the ones from the kit. Whoops, lost one. It escaped onto the floor. Uh, the ones that came with the kit, I will put in a small container. Okay, so these, because there aren't very many of them, can go in this very small container. So let me... I'm going to do this, try and get it so it's all the way on there so I can see the whole thing. Okay, and then this one will go in there. I have several other ABs that I purchased as well. So, get them all out of there. Okay, so there's that AB. Then I have, these of course are for Patrick and Gary Shell. 957. So my last big container I'm going to use for this pink. I've got four. Do I only have four of those? Yes. Okay. So I've got four of these and then I have a purple that I have four bags of as well. So ooh, these have a bit of static in them. Let me get those out of the bag and into there. They don't all have static. Ooh, they're escaping. It looks like some of them do. I can get them to jump out into the container. That's good. One stuck to my hand. All right. The only other bag I'm going to get in here because it's going to get too full. Okay, and then let me get these all in there. Hopefully, without them all sticking to my fingers. Ooh, at least some of them, anyway. Okay, come on, get in there. Whoops. I have two stowaways. All right. Oh, I forgot to put the sticker on there. 957. So let me put that on there. Okay. And then I need a sticker that says 957. 957. And let's see. I think I'll use a small container again because I don't think I need a large one for what's left. Okay, then I'll just put those two in there, hopefully. There we go. And then these I will put in here. 
hopefully they will cooperate. Mm -hmm. More static. Always interesting to me how some colors have static and others don't in the same kit. Makes me wonder if it has to do with the dye that gets used or something. And I have a bunch of them that are trying to run away here. I get the majority of these in here. That is a piece of trash. And then I will pick all of these up. And get them in here. Not the, ugh, not the most glamorous way to do it, but those two escaped. Let me Come on, you guys, get in there. Whoops, there's a couple more. They're just everywhere. They're multiplying. Oh, there's another one. That one can just go in the trash. Okay, so that's all the pink. Now I've got four of the nine or the 550. So I think what I'm gonna do for these is I'm gonna use two of these size. And then I think after that, the most that I have left is the black. So let's cross my fingers. These don't have any static. Oops, let me put my sticker on here first. So this one is 550. And then I need to make another sticker. So this one, 550. And this is another one that I have um, had some ABs and these are from my spares. I can tell because I've got the stickers on them. So I'm going to be using those as well. And you can see those are a really good match for um, the ABs. So I'm excited to be able to stick some of those ABs in. Okay. Hope you guys can't hear that. The street sweeper is cleaning our streets today and it's not very quiet. And I'm going to have static in these two. So bear with me guys as I get all of these hopefully in the containers where they go. not doing that. I'm not gonna. Ooh, I may need three of these. Okay, so there's that one. Pick up all of these. Okay. I think the rest of those mostly behaved. Mostly. Yeah, dealing with these when they have static is not fun, and I could go hunt up a dryer sheet, but usually when I run into this, I would rather just wait until I'm done and see how many I have that are gonna need a dryer sheet and then I can just add it in all at once. And yeah, I'm gonna need a couple, I need one more smaller one for all of these drills. Okay, so I'm gonna need another 550. See, there's only 19 colors in this kit, and I thought it was going to be a little bit of overkill to use my Elizabeth Ward tray, but it's looking more and more like maybe that was a good solution because I'm going to have so many of these. Okay, so there's that one, that one, and then I'll do one this size. Okay, let me put the sticker on there. So I don't forget what I'm doing. Cut this one open. They're all escaping everywhere, you guys. Goodness gracious. Ooh, this one is super full. Okay, so maybe I'm going to open up that last one and put some more in there. Okay. So let me open up that one because I think I can get all the rest of these in it and then I'm down to my black. This one has some room in the top so let me just push all these down because they don't want to go in there. Okay 
All right, so now I'm ready for my 310. I've got three bags of 310. So I'm going to use one of these and probably one of these. And I also have 310 uh, ABs. Again, these are from my spares that I'm going to possibly add in as well. So let me put my stickers on here. There's that one, and then I need one that says 310. And then I think the rest of them I can do with just one container per color, I think. But we'll see. You never know how it's gonna go once you start, so. All right, let me cut these open. Cross my fingers that they're not staticky. They don't seem to be, so that's good. Okay. Can I get another bag in here? Come on. All right, the rest of these. I spoke too soon. Thought I was going to get away without any static in those, but nope. Okay, let me see if I can get these in here. And then I've just got to get... Ooh, those are very staticky. Sticking to my fingers. Get these in here. Or not. Okay. There's that. Let me get all these picked up and put back in the little tray here. I need to clean off my table. All right. Now, let's see if I can get all these to go in here. Okay. That's a piece of trash. All right. Maybe it's just the humidity here lately. It's been so hot here lately, you guys. My goodness. It's supposed to be over 100 degrees pretty much every day, which isn't that unusual for us here at this time of year. But not just over 100, but we're talking like 109, 110, which, again, is not that unusual for us. We've, we've seen temperatures like that before, but not for like weeks at a time. So... Yeah, my poor husband is out working in this heat, so he's going to be ready for us to take that vacation to someplace cooler. He's always checking up what the temperature is like, um, not only up in Maine, but also where his folks live <laughs> to see what the temperature difference is. Okay, so I've got a couple of other ABs, so I'm going to go ahead and do those. And the green I can get in this small one, and actually have some leftovers from a previous Diamond Art Club kit. Um, pretty sure these came from my grandiose grease. Um, so I'm going to have those left over if I want to add any more to these. So I'm going to put these in this small container. Hopefully they all go in nicely. Ooh, yes, they did. It's funny, usually the ABs have a lot of static, so. Okay, so there's those. And then these ABs, there's actually quite a few, so I'm gonna put them in this container. And because this is basically just 5,200, I have additional leftover ABs that I'm going to be using as well. In case I feel like adding more in than are actually called for in the kit. So, see if I can get all these in here. Okay, there we go. All right, so there's that one. And let's see, what do I have left? I'll start doing them in DMC order, I guess. Okay, so we have 434. There's not very many of those, so these can go in the smallest one. Okay. 
I actually forgot until I went to go get this one up that it only had like 19 colors, which, you know, makes sense. It's like a cartoon. So, you know, it's not like it's hyper realistic or whatever. So there's not going to be a lot of shading and whatnot. So you don't need a whole bunch of colors, but I think this is probably one of the, the kits that I've had the le one diamond art club kit anyway, that I've had the least amount of colors on. My partials, I might have not had as many, but I don't count those, so. Okay, so 600 and 608 do not have very many either, so I'm going to put them in these small ones as well. I love this mulberry color. I think it's so pretty. Okay, there's that one, and then 608 which 608 is an AB that I purchased. Not quite the same. However, I think this is the one that maybe is his like tie or something. So I may just substitute and save these um, for, a, you know, put them in my spares and then use the ABs instead. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, the number four, that's his tie. So I think I'll probably end up using the ABs for his tie rather than these. And these will just go directly into my spares for use in another project. Okay, so there's those. And let's see, what do I have next? I'm into the 700s next. Trying to get them all in order here. Okay. So I have two bags of 701, so I will put it in one of these larger ones. That way, if I need to, I don't know if they'll both fit in here, but we'll see. If they won't both fit in here, then I'll have an additional one, um, an additional smaller one. I should be able to get them all in here. Okay, there's one. That's something my husband and I were talking about. It's been so hot here. And I think we deal with it here a little bit better just because we're used to having those kind of temperatures. I mean, most people here have air conditioning because it does get so hot. I mean, there's no way you'd survive without air conditioning when it's 106 degrees routinely. And not only is it that hot all the time, uh, but I mean, it just doesn't cool off at night. Okay, 733, there's not very many, so I'm gonna use this small one. And then 740 has quite a few, so, even though it's only one bag. Get all the drills down to the bottom here, so I, whoa. Just about flip those everywhere. Pretty sure I lost one in the floor. Good thing I'm planning on sweeping in here later today. That's something I have on the back of my mind that I need to clean my house before we go on vacation. Do you guys do that? Like my son is staying here. He's not gonna go with us. So, I mean, someone's gonna be here. He's gonna be making it dirty. You know, it's not like it's just gonna set. But I always like to clean my house before I go on vacation because that way when I come home, everything is clean. Do you guys do that or is that just a weird me thing? Like I've got to do laundry and everything else from the trip when we get back. Because, you know, I'm the mom, so I'm the one who gets stuck doing all that. Everybody else just comes home and does whatever usually. So I'm the one doing the laundry. Oh, and 740, I also purchased ABs for. Those look like a much better match. So I can substitute in some of those as well. Okay, 742, I need to put in a big container because there are two bags. Anyway, so I'm feeling like I need to clean the house before we go. My husband thinks I'm crazy. I'm like, it just makes me feel better. That way I know everything is nice and clean. I mean, it's not like anybody's going to come over for a visit or anything while we're gone, so I don't know what it matters, but that's my type A for you, I guess. So, okay. Woo! 
Okay, just a few in here that didn't want to come out. Let's see if they cooperate going in. Come on. Okay, oops. It's always a straggler. Okay, so that was all of the ABs that I have purchased or pulled out of my spares to use. Um, let's see, 906, I'm going to put in a bigger one because it has quite a few drills. So I'm going to put that in this big one. I mean, it's not a huge one, but you know what I mean. I don't know, what are they? Large, medium, small, and extra small? Or is it small, medium, large, and extra large? Not sure the way that it goes. Okay, so there's that one. And then we've got three colors left. This one looks like it will fit in a small one. So 33.25. Okay. Come on, get out of there. Well, I meant into the container, not the tray, but. All right, and then 38.46. Looks like it will also go in a small one. And then all I have left is 5200, which I think I need a bigger bag or a bigger container for because it's kind of a full bag. All right, get in there. Okay, and then I will, let's see, let me rearrange these a little bit so I can get them in there. I will put the 5200 in the size container. So that is all of my stickers taken off. I've got some extra stickers here that I could use for other things. Um, and then I've got this sticker here that I can put in my log book. I've actually pulled off the other one and already put it in my log book. Um, I'm revamping my log book to be a bigger size so it fits with um, easier for me to obtain paper. And so I'm gonna, I think, start using these bigger ones. But anyway, I stick these underneath here with the tray lid so that I know those are the drills that go with that particular kit. In case I get confused, I don't usually have so many kits going on that I lose track, but boy, howdy lately, maybe. Um, let's see, I've got my three, well, two of my heaven and earth designs open and kitted up. I've got my firefly fireworks I'm currently working on. I've got a crafties I'm working on. I'm going to be working on this one. So here you can see all of the lovely SpongeBob colors. We've got yellow, pink, blue, purple, black, green, orange. And then I've got all of my lovely ABs that I'm going to throw in there as well as the three that came with the kit. So yeah, so SpongeBob is ready to go. And then I've got um, my crafties and I think there's another one in addition to this one, but they're all in different places in the house. So that keeps me from getting confused in theory. We'll see how it goes for me. Okay. So there you go, guys. I'm all done kidding up um, and I'm ready to start on my SpongeBob for my nephew. If you like this video, guys, before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. Give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Hit that subscribe button. That helps me out even more. And hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.